Now that the top of these flats have been roughed, we might as well bring the tool over and clean up along here so we don't leave a ridge of material when this side of the part is cleaned up. To do that, once again select Tool Path Contour. This time use partial chaining in the construction plane. And we still have the color mask enabled, so we can choose this purple line or curve up to here. So we're just going to chain this half. We'll also tell the tool not to come this far into the part. We can accept those selections. So we're going to use the contour tool path. Use the same one inch tool. You can set these values up as they were before and make a comment that tells the person reading the program what it is we're about to do. When you select the cut parameters, we're going to shut the compensation off. So the center of the tool follows the center of the curve we've chosen. We're still going to leave 20 thou on all surfaces. This on the walls will throw it a little off center, but that doesn't really matter. Right, we can leave our depth cuts as it was. Our lead in and lead out is what we want to change. We want to make sure we don't go past halfway. So at the end of the contour, we're going to shorten it. And we might need to play with this value as we rough the other side until we make sure we don't gouge into here. But for now, I'm going to shorten it by a half inch. We can come back and change it later. Everything else should be fine. The multi-passes will shut off as we only want one pass. And the linking parameters and coolant should also be the same. We can accept these selections. And then have a look at our tool path here. We make a decision if we don't feel it's far enough here we can go back in and tell it to shorten the contour even more. If the tool were to come about here that would be plenty so I think I'm going to shorten it a little bit more so I'll go back into the parameters to the lead in lead out just tell it to shorten this rather than a half inch by an inch and we'll see if we like that. We want to remember the center of the tool is going to follow this path so a little bit of the tool, roughly half of it, will be up here. This looks much more reasonable and we'll accept this. After we've roughed this, we'll know right away if we need to come back and adjust this even further. 